Hello, and welcome to another episode of My Opinion Means Nothing. This week on the show, um, I have my two good, 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 good friends, Dante and Ramos. They've been on the show before. How's it going, guys? Yo, what up? Cool, bro. We're wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, this week, we're in a... Ramos's studio. Uh, I like I like your setup, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how how you guys doing, man? Yeah, everything's all right. Cool. Um, yeah, just prepping with obviously I do acting, so um, I'm in a play called. Growing Pains, that's out March the 10th. Okay. Um, also, I'm in a film with yourself, Corey, called uh, Marcel's Paradise. Marcel's Paradise, coming soon. So, yeah, look out for oh. that. And also, I'm on a film called Cop Film, that's coming out in uh, April as well, people. So, you know, yeah, man. look out for that, man. Look, look out, out for Dante. That. Dante is like making movements in the acting scene, guys. Yeah. Like, check out, man. He's going to be a big name in the future. Watch this space. Sure thing going on. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you, Ramos? What you been up to, man? Yeah, nothing much, bro. I mean, just chilling, home, work, and all of that. I hear that. The hustle. I mean, hustle. Ah. 24 7. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 365, man. 365. How mm. you been doing? How have I been? Um, Well,. Unfortunately, uh, I had a death in the family recently. Um, um, my granddad passed away in uh, January, and uh, we had like last on Friday we had the funeral, and it was a nice send off. But yeah. I mean, I'm good regardless. Like, um, I mean, the last time I saw my granddad was like Boxing Day, because we do like a thing where on Boxing Day every year, like, on my dad's side of the family, we would all go over to my grandparents' house and we'd do, like, Christmas again. Family thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, the last time I saw my granddad, he was, like, alive and kicking. He wasn't, like, like on his last legs or anything. It was just as I remember him. So, oh, yeah. for me, it's, like, it was nice that I got to see him like that, just, like, just after Christmas. And that was sure. the last time I saw him. So, uh... I'm happy at that. Uh, other than that, I'm, I'm all good, man. Just working, living life, just out here, you living know. Blessings. Yeah, just living my blessings, man, yeah, you know. Sure. Mm, mm. Ah, mm, yeah, man. So, you know, like the first topic, the first very, uh, section of my podcast is what's happening in the world. And uh, I've chosen a couple of topics that I found today um that i found kind of interesting so like the first one i'll go on is basically uh windsor council are set to find homeless people sleeping rough before the royal wedding (laughs) (laughs) windsor council are set to find homeless people for sleeping rough before the before the royal wedding, is that is that within the radius royal of of where the where the royal wedding's gonna yeah, happen? Yeah, because it's gonna be in Windsor, isn't it? So they're gonna say, "Can you sleep somewhere else down the road, please?" Because because we've got TVs coming here. Yeah, and and if they're still there, they're gonna find them. See, the messed up thing I find out with this year is how much is this wedding gonna cost? Like about what thirty two million pounds? Yeah. About thirty-two million pounds of our money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get too close. Like, I, I, I like Harry in it. Like I, I, I like Harry. Yeah. You secure the, secure the nice Browning. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the OG way, you know, <laughs> you know how it's supposed to do, you know. Um, but but <laughs> <laughs> but with all that being said, yeah, for him to sanction this, that ain't cool, Harry, man. Well, no, it's not him, but it's Windsor Council. That's what they're doing. That's what they're. Bro, that's what they're set up. That's but what he, he must not it. like, bro. That's that's like that's like. See, for me, 
I, I, I like to obviously, you know, understand these things from a lateral point of view. Yeah. So I put myself in that in that form of a situation. Yeah. So yeah. you say, yeah. So I'm gonna get married. Yeah. yeah. Boom. I secured the Browning. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, I'm getting married in um. Uh, yes, I'm getting married in what? Oxford Circus. Yeah. yeah. I personally can't banish. Or pay someone to banish a homeless person from just, from you know, from, from just course. just taking it easy, you know. Do you say they ain't slept all night? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bro? They've just been out on the road. I mean, it makes no sense. There's no humanity in that. And to be honest, I just realised something. The woman is meant to be some humanitarian. She's meant to be an activist. A hum- activist? <sighs> I know, it's all controversial, isn't it? Uh, well, Meghan so, Markle. Yeah, no, she is. She's meant to be doing work. She meant to do a lot of human rights work, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, is it, human, is it humanely right for you to find a homeless, homeless person yeah. who hasn't even got the money <laughs> to even <laughs> to pay, pay to find, that's to what find I mean. in the first place? <laughs> yeah. That's what I yeah. mean. <laughs> and to be honest, if the council finds the homeless person, the money goes back to the council, yeah, which sure. means half of that money goes where? No. In the back of Harry's pocket, bro. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Man's getting paid and getting paid just to say I do. <laughs> Man, you OG, bro. <laughs> oh, that is mad. But listen to this, yeah. So people sleeping rough in Windsor could be fined up to a hundred pounds <laughs> under the proposed measures to reduce the visibility of homelessness. They must be. They must be balling homeless. Like, how could you? Find them a hundred pounds. <laughs> they probably got like a thousand pennies on them or something like that. It's, yeah, when it says Windsor Maidenhead Council want to ban people from begging and from leaving their belongings, including bedding and unattended um, on the streets. The council hope to robust hope the robust strategy will reduce uh, will reduce sleepers by fifty percent by the end of March, ahead of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding. Which is going to be on the nineteenth of May. Do you know how much people are going to come and camp anyway? <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting, I'm thinking that, yeah, that <laughs> some people are going to camp, yeah. And what if the guy doesn't know who's homeless and who isn't? <laughs> who isn't homeless, bro? Like, mama's just sitting down to rest his legs. All right, yeah, mate, it's, it's a hundred pound fine for you, mate. <laughs> man's like, it bloop, bloop. no, give it to him. <laughs> give it to him. That's over there. <laughs> Oh, no, no, <laughs> the shit that. What you say, give it to that one over there. Yeah, bro. No, I take that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> what I'm saying, saying bro. Like, I'm what I'm saying, there's people, there's, there's homeless people, and there's gonna be people who's just gonna try and beat the crowd so they can be at the front gate to just. Yeah, wait, 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 you get to wait a minute. <laughs> then people, it's to warn them people off. Yeah. I can't see them actually finding but, someone. But this is what they're saying. They're saying that this is the funniest part that I read. Basically. The fine will be cut in half <laughs> if the homeless person pays early. But if the offender doesn't pay, they could be uh, convicted and have to pay a £1,000 fine. They're going, they're going to jail, bro. <laughs> you know? You might as well say, you might as well say, they might as well in jail, bro. Yep. Put them all in jail. Because <laughs> what what homeless guy has a hundred pound just spare to, to pay this fine? But then they say, do you know what? If you could pay early, could you imagine? If you could, could you imagine? Could, 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 could you imagine if it's rainy? Now, could you imagine if it's a rainy day? Yeah, a rainy, pouring day, and like their man needs shelter, but their man can't go shelter because their man ain't got a hundred pounds <laughs> to sit under the shelter. You know, that wants to... A bill to sit under the shower. No, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have to... No, I mean, they're being fined for sleeping on the streets. But they're saying that if you pay the... You have to pay the fine for the fact that you're sleeping on the streets. They're, the whole point of it is they're, meant, they're hoping that these see, homeless who, people who, will flee from Windsor and go to other areas. Like, so that they just clean up Windsor. Like, created these laws, you get what I'm saying? Like, the government laws... <laughs> Like, cause the to me, I feel do. like they create these laws to, like, Make protect, money. like, saying, like, they protect people, you know what I mean, for people, you know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, it's, like, 
kind of hurts the people, you know. You get what I'm I just saying? realized, mm. I just realized something it doesn't else. help the yeah, people, it, it helps help no only one. the rich people. Yeah. You get I, what I'm saying? Helping that gap I just divide, realized something. It? What? When you do a fine, yeah, yeah, they need your address to send the documents of where you're gonna pay your fine to. Yeah. So how are they gonna find? How how is that gonna be possible? They'll just have to do it on the spot them. fine, yeah. They'll have like wardens going around issuing and fines. But if they, this, what I'm saying is, they're issuing them a ticket and they're meant to pay the fine. Yeah. But what happens if they don't pay the fine? Then they are, <laughs> then they can fell shell, face being convicted and how paying would, a thousand pound fine. What, how would they find them though? That's a true question. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, <laughs> doesn't have an address, so that's what I mean. It, it's just that that corner. They just got to hope for that that they're gonna be at that just corner bump, again in it, that address. <laughs> Imagine that man's going in to try and get get a free milk, and I see his face on the milk card. <laughs> <laughs> Find this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Get over over off of Megan. Get over over off of Megan. You <laughs> find this guy. He was sleeping on the street. <laughs> Ob- observing <laughs> the carriage traffic. <laughs> or some, some rubbish like that, bro. So mad. Bro. Uh, this, this place is just yeah, getting even crazy. crazy, and crazy, crazy man. This world that we live in, you know. At first they kick you out. Then fine. They want you to pay all this money. What's that, bro? Uh, it's crazy. Um, basically, like, uh, the council said that the measures um, were needed to tackle um, were needed to tackle what is called aggressive or productive begging, such as begging near a cash machine or in a manner was uh, reasonably price, uh, reasonably reasonably perceived to be intimidated or aggressive. So basically, if a homeless person is begging outside a cash machine or in a place where they could be intimidated to public. Um, they don't want that anymore. Of course. <laughs> right. 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 See me, see me, see me. Yeah. At the end of the day, I, um, I understand the situation. I get it, yeah. I get the situation, yeah. But there needs, like, your whole self being of respect for who you are has gone out the window if you're gonna wait at a cash machine to get to just hope someone someone's gonna take someone's mm. just gonna go to the cash someone's just, just gonna, gonna put go. their card in and like, oh, can I have, can I have some money please like, yeah. I'll give you a tenner. What what? No. I, I have I've never seen a ca- I'm this guy always. outside a cash machine because that's not a smart move bro. But no. if you have done that though, good on you and please drop a comment because I would like to know <laughs> yeah, man. how that went down please. Uh, how how can you like, maybe like I've seen a homeless guy close to a cash machine, but like not in a sense where he's like begging right. outside of it, and like, like he wants the money that you just took it out of the machine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't seen. He gonna movement. wait. He I'll gonna tell you wait. one. I'll tell you one story. Yeah, one yeah, story. Yeah, go on. I was on. I was on a train from. Um... We're not going to reveal the destination. We'll start sounding sound typical, but yeah, I was on a train, yeah, from one destination to the next destination. A to B. A to B. And um, while I was on the train, um, I realised that, oh yeah, well, I ain't got my, um, I ain't got my, um, oyster my, card. My, my, my bank card with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, but I had a oyster that tapped in and everything. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So, um, but I just realised, well, I'm really hungry. But I've just got two pound seventy nine in my pocket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I didn't beg people before you start thinking that. So let me just carry on with the same, the same story. Is that you? Phone's <laughs> ringing, man. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so what happened was, one dude came onto the train, didn't it? Yeah. So he's come on the train. He's gone from, I saw him from the top of the carriage asking me for change. He got rejected, got rejected, got rejected, got rejected. Came to me now. He asked me for the change. I'm not allowed to you, I said I can't give the change because that was the only money I was on me at the time and I was hungry, so it was £2.79. So I was thinking, bad, like, you're right. He actually like he needed the change, you know. But it drew to my attention that when we got off at Penge East, which was the B destination, yeah. yeah. You go up at Penge East. 
I'm walking now. As I'm walking, I'm just hearing. Ping, 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 ping.